Who are you? Why are you here? I wouldn't go that far. But I do indeed practice Western medicine. I see we share the same goal. But unfortunately, now is not the time. Hmm. Is that right? I see. <sighs> Simply chatting won't help matters. But... Since there's nobody else I can ask, I might as well share. Ine Kusumoto. I studied Western medicine, and I'm researching a cure for cholera here. Those suffering with the disease cannot be ignored. But I am yet to see much in the way of success. I've been trying to make medicine. But it all turned out to be poison. And a deadly one to boot. It needs to be properly sealed in a container, or poison gas will escape. The anti-shogunate folks heard about it somewhere, and came to ask me how to make it. They're up to no good, I'm certain. And they've been haranguing me in my lab ever since. All of my colleagues were terrified, and ran off. They sent me a threat this morning. They're planning an attack. But I can't just turn my back and flee. I have to protect my lab. Truly? Okay, please. That's wonderful news. They're planning to strike when the sun sets. Are you ready? The gates are blockaded, so it will take time for them to get in. Which means, they will likely approach from the rear. I'm counting on you. But please, take care of yourself. Here. Whatever it takes, we can't let them destroy the lab. There are jars of poison in the garden. Try throwing them at the intruders. God have you the cheek <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey! You're not looking so good!
Sakamoto, you must help us take down the Shogunate! Sorry, but I don't have time for that. Please, make these people leave. You, by the look of this, you're not with us this time. Now, if you really do interfere, we'll have to knock some I hope you're prepared for some pain. That's enough for today, I think. I'll be going. <sighs> Thank you so much. I am truly grateful to you. Now I can finally go back to studying cures for cholera. Could I ask another favor? Would you be so kind as to track down Dr. Narasaki. He was rounded up during the recent purge, and he's still in custody. I heard he had just come up with a concoction that eased the symptoms of cholera. I have my work cut out rebuilding this medical facility. In the meantime, I would very much like you to speak to him for me. Please do this for me. And if ever you need anything, you know where to find me. is to be decapitated. We just received word from the commissioner's office. But they said my father was about to be released. There must be some kind of mistake. You have to double check. Even if there has been a mistake, it's too late. 
His execution will be carried out as planned. Now, if I've made myself understood, off with you. <laughs> oh, didn't expect to see you here. Katsu wanted me to meet Shosaku Narasaki. He's the doctor who supposedly figured out how to cure cholera. But it sounds like they're about to take off his head. Katsu never said a thing about that. It's all very strange. That was the doctor's daughter just now. Better go see what's going on. That girl there. Does she mean to climb the wall? What are you thinking? I'm thinking to break my father out of them. Whoa, slow down. Let's not do anything reckless. We will find a way to help your father, okay? You know what we have to do, right? We're going to sneak in. Good thing you came. Couldn't pull this off without you. I've given it some thought. Why don't we kick up a fuss around here and get ourselves arrested? It'll get us inside, which is a start, at least. Pretty ingenious, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's do it. Just focus on getting locked up as soon as possible. You ready? No time like the present. All right, let's go back to that guard. If we cause a scene right in front of him, there's no way he'll miss the chance to lock us up. You again. Oh. What do you want? Huh? <laughs> plan so far. Now we just need to get out. Out of here. Not a bad deal, right? That the mulish doctor? Uh, I know he got taken to the inner grounds, but that's all I can tell you. We're square now, aren't we? Go on, uh, off you go then. Time for me to shine, eh?
Do it with that. Letting me out. I'll fool you. It's my lucky day. Lead the way.
Someone there. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Get to be executed? Fine. I'll make this quick. Narasaki, are you? Just sit tight for a second. You find the key? <laughs> that woman is quite something. This is madness, Odeo. What were you thinking? But I owe you my thanks. Now, what do you want? I'm sure you didn't rescue me out of purely goodwill. Ine Kusumoto. Yes, I know the name. So this is related to Korara, I take it. There will be an uproar if I don't show up soon. I'll be off. Wait, are we all right? I'm Ryoma Sakamoto. We're both Ryos. This must be a sign. Can I see you again? A sign, you say? Hmm, maybe I'll give you a chance.
Dr. Narasaki arrived earlier. It seems you rescued him. I thank you. I appreciate all the effort you have gone to. I really must think of a way to repay you. I will. I've made a lot of preparations to that end. I'll find a treatment, whatever it takes. I heard something very important from Dr. Narasaki. The juice of the lemon can be used to treat cholera. The problem is, there isn't any of this fruit in Japan. But my father's friend, Mr. Fortune, might be able to help. I'll head now to the Koishikawa Botanical Garden to find him. Meet me there, if you're interested in helping. to give you a generous discount.
Hello there. Ah. So you have decided to help, I see. I just saw some American troops marching straight into the garden. Something about this isn't right. I hope Mr. Fortune is safe. Please, go inside and check on him. Lemons are fruits, native to the West. According to Dr. Narasaki, a curative drink can be mixed from lemon juice, water, sugar, and salt. Cholera kills its victims through severe dehydration. Supposedly, this lemon concoction helps prevent the process. If he could produce it, we could save lives. A good friend of my father, Philip Franz von Siebold. He's a Scotsman who travels the world collecting plants. He just so happens to be in Japan, and is staying in these gardens. Thank you. You be careful, won't you? What? 
How much has been revealed? Only the body can yield the answer. Don't get in my way. Why don't we talk over there? <sighs> you got rid of that woman for me, I see. You have my deepest gratitude. You are a kind-hearted individual. Uh, oh, 
Uh, yes, uh, my name is Robert Fortune. Now, I simply must repay you in some way. What do you say? Are, are you an acquaintance of hers? I will give her all she needs. I am growing lemons as a means of preventing scurvy. I shall box up all I have and send them to her. If that does not suffice, kindly let me know. I am a collector of plants of all description. If ever you come across an interesting specimen, bring it to me, won't you? I can appraise them, cultivate them. Whatever I might be able to do to help. Well? Was Mr. Fortune safe and well? <laughs> so, all went swimmingly, it seems. I shall be able to prepare a drink for those suffering from cholera. And it's all thanks to you. You have my thanks. My patients may require your assistance again. I'm counting on you. And the time comes. How do you do? Hello there. You know, I, I realize I've asked plenty of you in the past, but uh, there's a certain matter I'd rather like your help with. It's uh, a bit of a sensitive matter, if you know what I mean. That is to say, I... I've fallen in love with someone at first sight. I have to woo this wonderful woman. Do you... do you think you could help me? Oh, thank you! She's... well, her beauty escapes words. Frankly, I've only seen her from afar a few times, but she has already won my heart. I just need a good way to approach her. I, I'm afraid I'm far more familiar with handling plants than I am women. Nobody takes offense at receiving a gift, but uh, what should I give her? Ah, a good question. Aha! I've got it! What if I gave her a beautiful flower? An appropriate gesture, given my interests, is it not? G 
good idea. Miss Eni might give us some insight into the mind of a young woman, and perhaps Dr. Narasaki could offer the expert advice of a married man. I'm uh, not sure I can muster up the courage to ask them myself, though. Would you perhaps do me the favor of talking to them for me? <laughs> Oh, it's you. Uh, was there something you needed? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Any time I might have had to pursue a relationship, I've spent on caring for my patients. Ah, so you're here for some advice on love. <sighs> Unfortunately, you're barking up the wrong tree. But I suppose the best course of action would depend on the couple in question. What do you think your friend should do, if I may ask? Mmm, yes. That could be a safe approach. If I were her, I'm sure I'd appreciate some beautiful flowers. I don't believe there are shortcuts to anyone's heart. But there is something charming about someone who isn't afraid to be themselves. That's about all I have to offer, I'm afraid. Sorry, I couldn't be more helpful, but good luck to your friend. Huh? Did you need something? Well, out with it. Long enough. I can't say I've been the most attentive husband, given how busy the job keeps me. But you know, she's never threatened to leave me once. Suppose you could say we were meant for each other. There are some things you just can't explain. What does that have to do with me? Oh, you want my advice because I'm married, don't you? Enough about that. What do you tell your friends to do? Sounds like an idea thought up by someone with the luxury of time to spare. There are worse ways to get to know someone, I suppose. Listen, a relationship that's built on lies isn't built to last. Your friend shouldn't hide who he really is. Tell him to be himself. I'm no expert in these matters, but your friend better not squander my advice, you hear me? You'd better make sure you tell him that.
thank you again for talking to the others. Well, what did they say? Be myself, eh? I suppose there's nothing for it but to try it. That settles it. I'm going to give her a flower after all. Why, just the other day, I spotted a true beauty worthy of my beloved. I must retrieve it at once. Ah, but what if I were to get attacked on the way? I hate to ask, but would you acquire it in my stead? Thank you! The flower in question was growing in the forest near Ichigaya Hachiman. You'll know it when you see it. So we meet again. Clearly I'm no match for your strength. So I'll just have to make use of it. My name is Alexandria Moreau. Seeing as we are not total strangers, let us get down to business. Naturally, I will have you answer my questions in full honesty. To start, please identify yourself. I see. I see. You do you seem do rather seem lonely, lonely, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> now then, now then where, now might where might I find Robert, Robert Fortune? Robert Fortune. Well, well, after all I did, all did to make him, make him suffer, suffer, I'm rather surprised he didn't run away or hide. <laughs> the foolish man. However, I suppose it simplifies things somewhat. I shall have you bring him to me. There we go. Help me get what I desire, and you shall be rewarded. 
You were gathering morning glories earlier, no? That is a special flower. I want you to serve it to Mr. Fortune in a tea. Once he's consumed it, he should follow your every order. After that, you are to bring him to the abandoned plot of land by Denzoin Temple. Understood. Good. Then I'll leave the matter to you. How can I help you today? That's very kind of you. Although I'm, I'm not quite sure I can accept it. I'm in your debt enough as it is. Then again, I would hate to refuse your generous invitation. Oh, what should I do? Right, if you insist. <laughs> Verily, tea is a wonderful thing. It has no borders and is something the British and Japanese can enjoy alike. Of course, I enjoy the odd cup of sake also, <laughs> but there are so many who wreck their lives with it, don't you think? Anyway. This tea, it tastes a little funny, though. Are you leaving? About time I go out, too. So, shall we go look for a wonderful flower garden? To think that I came all the way to Japan just to be housebound by bloody expulsionists. It's Mr. Fortune! Quick, we must save him! If only I always had a warrior like you with me! Ah, I feel great! It must be the tea! Give it back to us! Don't try anything funny! Stay back! Thank goodness! Ah! Flower petals! The flower garden must be nearby! Now then, to return to our discussion. So, the reports were true. I'd heard you were working with that woman.
Good job. You did splendidly. I have a feeling that this is the start of a beautiful relationship. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Till next time. This is it! Precisely the flower I had in mind! Thank you! Words cannot express my gratitude, my friend. The Belladonna Lily. Its name means beautiful lady, you know. A perfect match for my beloved. Ah, yes. 
Another friend of mine has agreed to help me with my fateful proclamation. Let me introduce you. Ah, so this is your talented friend. We will be having none of your devilry this time, correct? Oh, already met Rutherford, have you? I owe my talented friend my very life. I'd trust them with it and more. Now, since we've got the flower in hand, we just need to present it to her. She's a geisha in the Yoshiwara district. She goes by Miss Usugumo. Then you are already familiar with her resplendent beauty. That makes things all the easier. Well, shall we make way for Yoshiwara to meet Usugumo? I appreciate your support. Oh, I'm so nervous and excited my heart could beat right out of my chest. Let's find Usugumo! Oh, I'm so nervous, my head is spinning! I dare say your nerves speak to the strength of... Right! We've arrived! Ah, oh, how lovely to see you. And so many of you today. It is lovely to see you as always. Words cannot express how grateful I am for your help with my cats. Uh, 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 how do you know her exactly? Is something the matter? I certainly hope we can become friends. Now, what brings you to Yoshiwara today? Yes, I, uh, ever since I first saw you, I wanted to tell you... Ah, here, a, a token of my admiration. Oh, what a beautiful flower. Is this a gift for me? Hmm. Your gesture means ever so much. I shall never forget it. Not even when this flower has withered and died. Here I thought I'd pay my Usugumo a visit. Didn't think I'd have to put up with her foolish customers, too. Who the hell gives a girl a dumb flower? How dare you! Miss Usigumu will not fraternize with the likes of you! Leave us at once! <sighs> Savages everywhere. You. Isn't this what you're here for? Just don't outright kill the man, hear me? I'm not about to get on the wrong side of the law. You wanna have a go? All right, you asked for it! I had my eye on her first, damn it! Problematic in the past, but your talents were evident as ever.
that we should. <laughs> you are very thoughtful when it comes to your friends, I see. <clears throat> I am truly glad that the flower was to your liking. I never got to introduce myself. My name is Robert Fortune. There are many beautiful flowers in the world that nearly rival your beauty. If you were to wish it, I would gladly give you every last one of them. I cannot imagine anything more wonderful. I promise to be here awaiting you. I never knew such beautiful flowers could grow outside Yoshiwara. I hope you will be so kind as to show me more. Well, I must thank you all for today. I hope we will get to know one another over a little drink in the near future. Until next time. Hello! Oh, things are proceeding well with Miss Usugumu, thanks to you. Every flower I bring her thrills her to no end. And yet, flowers can only do so much. She likens herself to a bird, you know. A bird trapped in a cage. And so I have decided I will free her from the Yoshiwara. I will need plenty of money, far more than I currently have, to do so. I will simply have to keep gathering flowers and make as much money as I can. I'm counting on your patronage. Come to me for all your botanical needs. <laughs> Hi. I've decided to start dropping in on you from time to time. Yes, and you proved yourself to be very useful. <laughs> Robert alluded to knowing about our secret art. Therefore, I wanted to find out exactly how much he discovered. But, after giving the matter due consideration, I felt that it might be better to have him and his knowledge on our side. Of course not. I'd never think of harming the poor man. I only want him to do a bit of work for me. Only a bit. You see. I put him under my spell during my journey over to this land. Having a toy soldier in one's service can be quite convenient, you know? But don't you worry. From now on, I shall endeavor to help you if I can. After all, you helped me to seduce Mr. Fortune. Well then, let me know if I can be of assistance. What do you want?
What do you want? What do you want? Let me know what you think of it next time you stop by. Hello! How good of you to come! How can I help you today? Me? Really? A most excellent question. I shall do it by means of a Wardian case, a glass case within which the plants are sealed, along with some moistened soil. The plants get all the air and water they need within the case itself, all while being protected from the harsh sea winds throughout our long voyage. And it is so very pretty. Imagine a miniature greenhouse. The glass it is constructed from poses no obstruction to the view of the plants within. Oh, yes, very much so. I am particularly taken with the Theopsis dolabrata. Its spear-like trunk practically pierces the heavens. When I first laid eyes on it at a temple, why, I, I was so in awe, I forgot myself. Before I knew it, I was halfway up the tree, shoes tossed on the ground behind me. I swear I could almost feel its vitality coursing through my veins. Oh, what joy! Though I can't say the temple priest was very happy with me. I've got just the thing for you. What is it you desire? What is it you desire? I'll keep my eyes peeled for anything that might interest you. How can I help you today? Now this is what I call a gift! Happy to chat whenever you need me. I suppose that's all. Goodbye.